Welcome to Python module of data science series. In this video, we will be covering what is Python, why we chose Python, setup in local computer, and setup on Google Colab. Since we will be using Google Colab in our entire series, it's important to know the setup of it as well. Now, before starting data science concept, it's important to know one programming language. You can either go with R or Python, but Python is gaining more popularity and this is more suggestible due to the following reasons. It is a high level programming language that is known for its readability and beginner friendly syntax. The language is widely used and supported across various operating systems, which include Windows, Mac OS and Linux, which makes it highly versatile and accessible. One of the Python notable features is that it has extensive standard library which provide a wide range of pre-built module and functions that can be used to perform various tasks without the need for additional external libraries. Now, this is the very reason why this is famous among developers. Python find application in diverse fields such as web development, data analysis, artificial intelligence, and automation. It has a rich ecosystem of framework and libraries that cater to these domain, allowing developers to build robust and scalable application. Python employ dynamic typing, which means that variable type are inferred at runtime. Now, this flexibility allows for more expressive code as a developer can easily assign different type of values to variable without explicitly declaring their type. Now, this advantage you don't have in C++ and Java, but here you don't need to explicitly tell the data type of your variable. You will see this practically when we move into the code. Python also support object-oriented programming, which enable developers to organize their code into reusable objects or classes. This promote code modularity, encapsulation, and inheritance, making it easier to manage complex projects and enhance code reusability. Now, I know this object-oriented programming point is not that clear because this is an advanced topic and you will learn this. Don't worry. So now let's start with Python setup. So search Python download and click on official site of Python and then click on download Python latest version. Now search PyCharm. This is the IDE of Python, which helps you write code easily. Click on JetBrains link and click on download. Now you have two options, professional and community. We will be choosing community since this is free. So just click on the file which is downloaded and install like any other game you install on your laptop or PCs. I will be creating desktop shortcut as well and then install. PyCharm community edition is set up. Now just click on your Python, I mean PyCharm community edition app and this is how it will get open. Click on new project, give your Python project name and then create. So this is how easy installing Python and PyCharm are. Let's see Google Colab setup since this is what we will be using throughout our series. Search Google Colab on Google. Click on Google Colab official link. Now you have two options, open Colab and open new notebook. We will be clicking on new notebook. You can also click on new uh, open Colab. You will have a list of files which you have created till now, or you can click new notebook from there as well. Now this is how Google Colab notebook look like. You can edit the name of your file. Now what is the advantage of this? It has code feature inside each cell and you can run the cell individually so you can see various output of various codes simultaneously now it also has text feature which enables me as an instructor to put all the important points on the screen itself now that's all in this video thank you so much